Hey everybody, Tony Radloff, Radloff Apiary. We are headed out to the farm, Wild Tree Farm Yard today. The bees have been in there for seven days, just installed last weekend. We're gonna see what queens are out, what queens need help, and making sure everybody's in the up and up. Stay tuned, we have a good day. this mic see how well the wind protection whatever helps and also test to see how these bees are doing so we're gonna crack them open in the in the wind we got to see make sure the queens are out that's really the main goal here make sure the queens got out and if we see some eggs cool um, it's a super nice day i mean it's mid 70s right now so uh, it's lovely as far as temperature goes. It is not lovely as far as the gale force winds. But it's windy here a lot. And the bees seem to like it, so can't complain. Maybe the breeze really just helps them stay nice and cool when it does get super hot out here in the summertime. So we're on our way out. Beautiful day out here on the farm. See, there's the beehives. As we're approaching. All right. Give him a little smoke. See how the food's doing. Put a gallon in here. About a week ago. A lot of food still in it, which is good. And also good because I planned accordingly and didn't bring any more food for them. Get this off. I'm not looking to smoke them out, just. Golly, is it windy. Let's take this end one out. A lot of bees, just a lot of food on here. Full frame of honey. I see what's going on. Try and stay in here. Bring it in. That's probably my food and some nectar that they're bringing in. Nothing else on that frame. And I think let's go for this middle section now. Do you want to see if the queen is here? Or if the queen is out of her cage at this point? Which I would imagine she is. There's a whole bunch of bees in here. I don't know if you're able to see that. But. They've eaten through the candy side, cleaned that candy side out. She's no longer in here, which is perfect. We don't want her to be. So, now that we know she is out and roaming about, hopefully, we can do a quick check for some eggs. And then we're basically done. We don't need to do much else. And I can see eggs.
I see eggs in this frame as well. And it's a little spotty, so they may have been eating some honey sections, and she's filling back in with eggs. I'm looking for her. I don't see her immediately. But eggs are here. Perfect. We know she's out and she's laying. Scoot this over a little bit. Give ourselves some room. Check to see if she's here. Let me put this down here. I'm blocking the harsh sun. Makes life a little bit easier looking at this. Lots and lots of food in that frame. Not a ton of food in this frame. She may have gone the other way. I don't see any eggs in this frame. If you see her, shout her out. But this frame is filled with eggs. I don't see her, though. This side is awesome. It looks just amazing with the egg laying. down so I can show you all. Be able to see down in there. And that whole frame is filled with it like that. Woo! Still windy. Oh, and I actually found her. She's over here on this side. Oh, she's a really dark queen. She looks awesome. Be able to see her here. I mean, well, we did find her. She's definitely here. We're gonna bundle this eye back up. All right, here we are, hive two. See what you can see. Busy, busy, busy they are. Some really cool dark looking bees in here. You can see. All right, let's go with this frame over here on this end. It looks like the cleanest, easiest one to grab. Not a whole lot going on there, some food. And that side's empty, so that's fine. Set that here. But now it gives us room we can get into. I go straight for the slot where she is. Grab the cage out of here. Oh, wow. 
they uh, I mean they cleaned it out as you can see like the other like the hive one but they have been going so strong they've already built like wonky comb on it she's definitely not in there which is good but if you take a look at this frame you'll see what I mean What in the world is this comb, guys? Girls. Ladies. So we're actually going to peel that off. Good deal. This off. All right, hive two. I do have eggs. Two, we do have eggs. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but they're all throughout um, this middle section here. There's eggs. So she's here. She's out. She's running around. She's laying. Um, already some like milky brood looking area, which is good. Some monster drones in here already, which is cool. Get ladies back in the hive. I'll just leave that down so it doesn't tip over again, huh? And there's our queen. She's huge. You can see her roaming about. Looking great, doing a great job. Looking for the next cell to lay. And this whole side of the frame is all filled with eggs. So she's doing a great job. I'm gonna get her back in. Called Hive 2, a success. And now we can comfortably smush these hives closer, these frames closer together while they kind of sort through that situation. All right, let's see how Hive 3 is doing with the food. Food is full. A lot of food in here. Which is fine. is just fine a lot of bees in the inner cover not bad though queen is right here down here not sure if you're able to see that let's see if i can run this a little bit is in this crevice here and it looks like there's a good amount of space on this side of the this frame so we may go Make life a little easy. She could be anywhere. So we're going to take a good look at this. A lot of empty cells. So actually a really good frame to lay in if she wanted to. But I don't see her and I don't see any eggs, which is fine. It's the last frame in the hive. Not a typical hive that you would see a queen lay up right away. So that's fine. Scoot this over. 
So technically, we don't even know that she's out of the cage yet. We're going to check that first. From here, I can already see the cage looks pretty, uh, pretty open. Wow, they sealed that thing to the wall. All right, it's open, completely open. I mean, it's filled with bees. No queens though, which is fine, good. If anything, you're just hanging out. So we'll take that out, throw that with the other cage. They're all cages are all blown away slowly but surely. And we'll take this frame out to see what we find. Always feels like a, a lottery. Right away, we see the queen. She's right here, and she's huge. So we know she's here. Yeah, I'm going to take a look. I don't want to keep this frame out very long because she's here. Come on, Queen. Come on. Get back in your, on your frame here. And I do see some eggs. She's getting a little worried there. But this is some pretty dark comb. So, one frame out. Right away we see eggs and the queen on the first frame. I'm going to clean up a little bit of random comb, which is fine. And then I'm going to put this back in because I know she's there. She's doing good. We can get these frames closer together now because there's no queen cage. Hive 3 is done. Put it back together. Thank you, Hive 3, for making life easy. And here we are in high four. Let's find out how they are doing on their food. Ooh, they've eaten a lot of food. Well, they've they've taken a lot of food. I don't know if they've eaten it. Hive two ate a lot of food or took a lot of food, but we did find a lot of food in their frame. So. Nice and steady. Good amount of bees on the lid. Always check the lid to see if your queen's there. I don't see any evidence for her. Um, we must have really smushed this cage in because I don't even see a gap. I think right here maybe? This seam? Looks like it could have the, have the queen in it. We're going to take this last frame here out. There's tons of space here. And let's find out. If we're right, let's just slide all this over. Excuse me, drone. There's the queen cage, right where we thought. If you slide more frames over at one time, it's just less action, which means less angry bees and less of a chance to hurt anybody, is my personal opinion. What do we find in here? Nothing. Corks eaten out or candy plugs eaten out. Nothing there. No queen in the cage. Looking good. Put that with the other cages. Destined for the trash. I don't know if you can reuse queen cages. Just thinking about like wanting to make queens later this year. Can you use can you reuse queen cages? Question for the group. A lot of food. No visible queen. Um, no visible queen on the other side, but a lot of eggs, which is awesome. What you need for a thriving hive is a lot of eggs. But no queen here, so we'll move on. Let's go up a frame here. Oh, 
Oh, wow. She must have gotten out quick. High four. High four was our dead on arrival queen. And then the queen that we got secondary that we did make the comment that we thought she would get out much earlier. Uh, you will see. I don't know if I'm going to be in my own shadow, but there's a ton of larva already. These are the, this is the oldest. One might even ask how that's possible. She, she must have gotten out like the day we installed her. I'm going to have to do some math on that. But this entire frame is all burrowed. She's got a jump start on the rest of her pals for sure. So, which makes me believe that you do not need to do much of a slow release situation. I mean, she had no time with this colony ever. She was brand new to the whole team at that point. And she liked, I mean, they had so much of that candy already eaten from that cage that even when I picked it up, they were made to comment about how much was already gone in the cage and that she'd probably get out really quickly. Look at all the, oh, look at all the larva in this one. That's fantastic. How in the world? I gotta find this queen to congratulate her. There she is. You can see her right here. Roaming about. She's awesome. She's pretty slender looking, but very long. And there's eggs everywhere on this frame, too. She's killing it. That's amazing. Like, she literally got out that day and just started cranking it out. Nice job, queen. High four. Fantastic. See how hive number five is doing on food. Holy glued down, Batman. Food is moderate. There's definitely food in there. A lot of bees on the lid. No queens. She could be anywhere. Make sure to watch out. What is this board? I don't know what that's for. Or from. All right. Queen cage is definitely right here. We're going to take this frame out. It's definitely got plenty of room. This has got nails in the top of the frame, which I typically don't. I don't do, so I don't know where this frame came from. Looks like. Doesn't look that old. I don't know where, where it came from. Lots of food, a lot of pollen on that frame. It's a good frame. All right, now let's go straight for the queen cage frame, which is here. Open this up, and a good reveal. Wow, this cage is packed with bees, but the cork is gone. It's eaten, as you can see. So I don't anticipate she's in here, but it's absolutely filled with bees. Also crazy windy out. Let's knock these off a little bit. Yeah, there's no queen in there, which is good. Good sign. Just weird. I mean, there's a chance she just recently got out, I guess, and pheromones are, like, really, really strong in there. I don't know. This is a perfect frame to lay in. I don't see any eggs in it yet. 
I am going to be this year more more skeptical on when I claim I see eggs. I think last year I was very optimistic as I worked through looking at and looking for eggs. Oh, in this shade, it's actually nicer. I don't have the same glare. Um, but I think I saw a little indentations in the frames and was thinking that it was eggs, but weren't eggs because I distinctly remember thinking, how did a hive like, recently fail when I know I saw eggs the last time and there's no larva now, and, which makes me believe that there weren't any eggs and I was just seeing things. Um... We see here a lot of food. Um, I don't see any eggs. There are some empty cells, but it's a lot of food. Look this way, a lot of food, a lot of syrup. No eggs in any of those empty cells. No, this is a good laying frame. I'm actually capping some of this food, but no queen on this frame. She may have gone the other way. It's like leaves in this frame, or in this hive. Oh, super light frame. She sprint all the way over here and oh crazy wind. Don't see her and I don't see any eggs. Still don't see her and I don't see any eggs. And to round it out, I might as well go through the last frame. I don't see her looking at this frame here. Don't see her. And I don't see her here. Some, some nectar there on that side, but all in all, just kind of cleaning things up looks like what they're doing. So I'm going to push these frames over nice and slowly as to not crush any bees. I think I already pulled this frame maybe. I pulled that wonky comb off, but I figure that's where the majority of the bees are. I still don't see her. I wouldn't be trying this hard if we were able to see some eggs, but I don't see any eggs yet either. It's not a super huge concern. There's, They've only been in here for a week. just want to make sure that there wasn't a queen stuck in a cage somewhere. Tons of syrup in this one. So, no egg laying activity on here. Nor do I see a queen. And nothing on there. All right, well, hive four. She's out. Just don't know where she is. 
which could be worse. A lot of bees. Keep an eye on them. Make sure that uh, next time we do see some, you know. All right, we're going to get these back hooked together, get the buckets back on them, and call today. All right, that's a wrap at the Wild Tree Farmyard. Bees are all tucked back in, put the covers on. It's supposed to rain, and it's still supposed to be gross for a little while. So we're going we're gonna to leave them be. Um, it's definitely plenty warm today. They're loving it. They're out and about, just living their best lives. So. Um, one bee followed me over here. She doesn't seem super thrilled with me, but there's a saying, be the tree. Bees don't sting trees, right? I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Um, but it's exciting. Seven days after install. Um, the only questionable one is hive five, I guess. We'll see unicorn hives busting, um, with the potential of a possible queen cell that's popping out. Um, nothing's there yet, so we'll see. And everyone else, the high four that had the dead queen, she's cranking. So we'll find out what's going on uh, with high five next time. Stick with us. It's going to be a good year. We're super excited. Have a great day. Thank you.